Okay, so boom, y'all already know what time it is. You'll now ride with your guys, Big Joe and Lil Joe. Pop, what up? You got something you want to say? Yeah, what's going on with everybody out there, man? How you doing? Everybody, I hope everybody's doing well today, you know. I'm just trying to see what you want to talk about today. If, if you got anything special you want to, you know, get off your chest or whatnot, you know. Ah, uh, you already know. Commercial break me, please, first and foremost, though. Everybody been asking, you know what I'm saying, my daddy to get a YouTube. He got his YouTube channel up and popping, man. And y'all do me a favor, man, if you will. If it ain't too much to ask for, man, y'all go support the page. Go subscribe. Check out the, uh, the content he got on his page. What's the page? Doing time with Joe on, on, on YouTube. Doing time with Joe without the G. Yeah. D O I N. Doing time yeah. with Joe. I'll tag it in the description. But, uh, man, I ain't really got much to talk about today, Daddy, man. You know, I'm on the road. I'm out here in Houston. I got my homegirl Raina with me. I've been telling you about it. You know what I'm saying? We just out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put some content together. But, man, uh, how you doing, though? How you. Let's, let's, let's talk about that. Like, how do you. Because a lot of times people call home. And automatically, yeah. because it's almost like y'all, people who are incarcerated, do a lot of giving advice and giving information. But like, where your mental at today? Like, what you like? Where yeah. you at? Oh man, I'm all over the place, really, man. There's a lot of things going on in here, just trying to cope with. You know, we got a lot of new officers that are training, and they come in a little bit uh, gung ho about what they want to do. And I, I got adjusted it. Everybody here has adjusted it. Every time we get somebody to do so, that's where I'm at right now. You know, we had some stuff go on this week where, uh, you know, they came in and took our stuff from us and stuff that you bought for me or the families bought for me. I had to throw some of that away because they wouldn't let me keep it, saying that I'm not in compliance. And then they find out later on that they were wrong, but the property that I've had to throw away is gone. So, you know, I've just been dealing with that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying, without having to put that off on y'all, you know, not telling y'all, like, look, you bought me something, I had to throw it away, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and just trying to deal with that kind of stuff in here, man, you know, what they, what they, So, what, what did they have, like, they had to, like, come through and they did a shakedown, or they just went, you know, making sure it everybody... wasn't even, it wasn't even a shakedown, it was just like a, you know, like, there's a certain amount of profit we, that we're allowed to have, right? Now they, now like they, they done start back on, they back on it. Yeah, well, but, well, but not necessarily, but the new officers are, you know, they straight out of the academy, you know, so they come in, they say, well, th this policy says this, this policy says, but they were reading the wrong policy. It got corrected, but when it got corrected, the damage was already done. So, you know, working that stuff out and just, just having to put up with that type of stuff. And I know a lot of people out there, it might not mean a lot, but, you know, we don't make a lot of money in here. And then the money that we do get comes from y'all, our family. And when you buy us something, that stuff means a lot to us. You know what I'm saying? I had to throw away, I know it don't mean a lot, but I had to throw away like five T-shirts that you bought for me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Good T-shirts. And people out there take something like that for granted. You know what I'm saying? Right, but right. you can't take stuff like that for granted in here, man. And I just feel bad about that. I feel like, you know, they don't see us. You know, it's one of those situations again, right? But I'm going to tell you what I did do, man. You know, I go to this philosophy class, right? Yeah. that uh, Western Kentucky University puts on here. Shout out to Dr. Anton and the crew, right? But anyway, I was telling her about the situation, right? And um, she made me realize something, man, that I've been struggling with for years, man. But she did it in such a way, it was so simple and straightforward. It was like, I get it, right? Mm -hmm. And I told her, I said, this made me feel like I was not seen being dehumanized again. You know how they do that, right? right, right. And over and over. So, when she, when she said to me, she looked at me and she looked at the other guys and I was, I wasn't the only one that was going through this. And she said, look, she said, you are human, right? I'm like, yeah. She said, you do have value, right? You believe you have value, right? And I'm like, yeah, I do. Yeah. And she said, then they can't dehumanize you. They can only dehumanize you if you believe that. Right. And when she said that, it was like, what the? Yeah. All these years, <laughs> right, 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 all these years I've been struggling with that, right? And then in, 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 in less than five seconds, in less than five seconds, she made it seem like, I, I, I don't have to accept being dehumanized. Right. And that's what I had been doing, right? In my mind, I had been accepting that. And I feel okay. I, I don't like the fact that I had to get rid of my property. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I don't feel like it was personal. You know what I'm saying? It was about me. You feel what I mean? And that it just made me feel good. But that's just something that I learned, man. And, uh, you know, I think that I would hope that people out there would would take stuff that they have for granted, the people in their lives for granted, and the freedoms that they have for granted, and all this and that. But, you know, don't take what somebody does for you for granted either. And if somebody tries to make you feel like you're less than, right, or somebody's calling you out of your name, like a B or an H or whatever the case may be or whatever, don't receive that. Don't let that seep in, because when you let that seep in, you are allowing the person to take a piece of you away, man. You know what I'm saying? You know
know who you are, you know what you're made of, you know who created you, so let that be the most important thing, right? Right. Your values are what makes you determine what's going on with your life, where you can see things clearly, right? And it just really helped me, man, just going to that class and whatnot, you know, I just thought that I would throw that out there to real quick, man, and see what you thought about that, right? Man, nah, I, I agree with what you're saying, you know, I, I, in the 10 years I was there, man, I, listen, it's 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 a it's hard to constantly you you constantly have to have a conversation with yourself to make sure you don't allow the system and how it's designed to make you conform to what they want you to conform to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like me and you done had plenty of conversations, like even when I came home, like the paranoia of being getting in trouble for any small thing. I remember somebody threw something out of the window in my car. And I was like, don't you ever do that again. But when I said it, it was a fear because of the threat to get a write up, the threat of going to the hole, the threat of taking my visitation, the threat of losing my packages, not ordering commissary, taking, you know what I'm saying? Just taking privileges for anything that I done. But see, that's, that was something I kind of, I had to work on that a lot in there, but not even when I came home, I was still having to work on it sometimes. Like, just the fear of that, like, what they try to get your mind to uh, conform to. Like, it's, it's tough. It's, it's tough. It's, yeah. it, it dehuman, like, yeah. it dehumanizes you. Like, it, it just right. turned into a, I don't know what that is, but. Yeah. But well, see, I'm, I'm going to be doing a show. And I'm, I want to do one with you about this too, right? But I'm going to be doing a show that's going to be up on my page, you know what I'm saying, in the next few days about something like that. Because you got to remember, the prisons are in the business of creating prisons. You understand what I'm saying when I say that? Yeah. Okay. They're in the business of creating prisons, right? And this is things called operative conditioning, right? Remember that, right? Because we'll talk about this another time. Operative conditioning. It's, and it's a process in which they break you down. Right. And then they make you understand. Yeah, they break you down like that. So all of those things that they do on a daily basis that make us feel a certain way, that make us feel less than, those are things by design that they do. And then, like I said, they're in the business of creating prisoners and whatnot, and, and we have to be aware of that. Right. And if you receive that, if you receive that, and then, see, if you're not aware of it, you're going to receive it because, I mean, we live in a bubble in here, so we don't have any time to bounce off of that exactly. to say, no, this is not it. You feel what I'm saying? And, and it's hard to explain to somebody that we love or love us that hasn't been through this. You feel me? That's why, you know, the conversation that me and you have is so important to me. You know what I'm saying? And what we share with people out there. See, because you won't understand that. Go ahead. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. It's, it it works outside the fence, too. It works inside and outside the fence. It's, it's things that's going on out here in the world where they get people who are in the free world conditioned to operate and then and they you become a prisoner out here as well and people, people I, ain't no question. I, can, oh. I tell people all the time look don't get it twisted because you think you free that you ain't locked up because <laughs> because no <laughs> it's a That's lot of good. it's a lot of people that that they are and guess what me and it's funny that because i've been incarcerated so now that i'm mentally spiritually and other in many different other ways how i'm free i'm able yeah. to see yeah. very easily people who are out here just think of they in the free world they free and i can tell now you in prison matter of fact no. you, matter you ain't only in prison you're on 23 and one you you <laughs> these folks done, listen these folks done yeah. condition that broke you down and then you don't conform so hard to how these people want you to operate and you can't see it you think you out here Man, and then them people locked up now. You locked up. Yeah, they locked up too. They locked up too. Yeah, you make a good point. I, I did that. You make a good point. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to throw at you, man. You know, I know you're on the road and whatnot. Y'all nah, take good. care of some nah, nah, I got, I do. I get this question a lot, man. I've been hesitant to ask. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I do. I'm gonna go ahead and ask because I know a lot of people be asking. Like, I. Yeah. Because they, you know, I appreciate the love that they have for you. You know what I'm saying? You my pops, you know what I'm saying? And so, I do too. And I and, do too. Real talk. But yeah. I, 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 I see it every time in the comment section. People ask like, because it's always free Big Joe and then it's, uh, what is, yeah. like, what's and the I process? That. Is it any way, is it anything we can do to help have you exhausted all of your appeals? Like, they want to know, like, where you at with your time and what's going on. 
I, I, I still have some time to do, right? I still have some time to do what, but what I am going to do uh, coming uh, after the first of the year, I'm going to be filing what they call a clemency application in Tennessee, right? And I'm going to be asking uh, the governor to uh, give me some relief. You know what I'm saying? So I can get up out of here. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm going to base it on my rehabilitation because I'm not the person, well, I like to say reformation. I'm not the person that I was before. And I want people to see that. So anybody that is out there that wants to help me, um, this may sound, you know what I'm saying, like I'm talking about my business, but I'm not. I need you to subscribe. I need you to subscribe to the page. I need you to follow and listen because these things that I'm doing are going to be a part of my application saying, look, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm contributing. And if, and if I have people listening and following and supporting what I'm saying, that's going to become part of the record when I do put my application in. And they'll be able to actually see because I'm going to have those pages where people leave comments. I'm going to have those pages in that application so people can see uh, the people that I got to submit the application to, to so they can see what people are saying and the support that is there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that is the biggest thing right now. Of course, well, not the biggest thing. The biggest thing is your prayers. Give me that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I take that above all, right? But yeah, the support, man. And it means a lot. It means an awful lot because what the, what the people that I'm going to be submitting my application to, what they want to know is, do you have that support out there? Do you have a way that you'll be able to support yourself? Do you have that family support? You know what I'm saying? That, that network of people that you can go to the people that support your business, the people that support what you're saying, they want to know that, man. And um, and I do, I think I got it, you know what I'm saying? And I, But I need to be able to show it, you feel me? Right. I need to be able to show it, man. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. So, yeah, so, yeah, man. You answered know. the question, though. I hope that answered the question. So, yeah, commercial break me, please. Man, y'all go subscribe mm -hmm. to the channel, man. Doing Time with Joe. S-D-O-I-E. Time with Joe. J-O-E. I'm going to put it in the description box when I post this video. If you have you watching that, probably won't, uh, I'll probably have post it Monday. But, uh. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that's it. I don't think I really got no more questions right now. I want, yeah, to, get, okay. I want to get it in with you anyway. Because I know you just put the YouTube up, you know. You're excited yeah, about no it. Doubt. Anything else you want to say yeah. before, I, before I shut it down? This traffic is. No, nah, that's it. That's it, man. It's just my love, man. Always. Always and forever. You know what I mean? Hey, what's up, man? Y'all know what time it is. You've been doing, you know what I'm saying? You've been kicking it with Big Joe and Lil Joe. Y'all take it easy. I'll be blessed. <laughs> <laughs>